Hi, this is Pat Hanahudash, your professor. I'm here to talk to you about your writing assignment to help you understand it better so you do really well on it. So first, um, let me explain that all literature classes require at least one paper. And the reason for this is that we want you to be able to show and learn more about doing an analysis to show how you can you can analyze something, how you can look at a text deeply, how you can apply all the terms that we've talked about, the ideas we've talked about, and that you can apply research material to support your points. So you're going to be writing three full pages, that's full pages, not two and a half, not two and three quarter, but three full pages double spaced using 11 or 12 point font, Arial or Times New Roman is fine, with at least five paragraphs. Now keep in mind, most of you probably learned the five paragraph essay in high school or developmental English, whatever. Um, and that's great. We use that to teach structure and organization. But here in college, we expect you to do more than just the five paragraph essay. Five paragraphs is rare. Usually it's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever. Um, so you probably need more, more than five paragraphs. The first paragraph should introduce the topic, and then you should make your point by the end of that first paragraph. That point we call your thesis. Um, it makes the point, it's the main idea of the entire essay. Then the rest of the essay supports and develops that point, and at the end you have a conclusion. For the ambitious, please don't go over five pages. If you have to write about five or more pages, then you probably have to narrow down your thesis. Your thesis is probably too broad. You are also going to use the 2016 or 8th edition of the MLA citation style to cite your sources, okay? including, of course, the text that you're writing about. When you quote, please remember that um, when a quote is four or less lines on your paper, you use quotation marks. But when it is more than four lines on your paper, you have to put it into what we call block format. So if you don't know how to do this, um, you need to look at something like the OWL at Purdue's website, owl.com, owl.com. That can help you, it explains everything you need to know. I also put stuff in your learning modules to help you with this, um, but it's important. Also remember that if you paraphrase or summarize something, you must put it completely into your own words. If you don't, it's considered plagiarism. So you have to reword it completely, also using your own um, sentence structures as well as your own words. Also, you must have in-text and or parenthetical citations as well as a works cited um, list at the end. So you have to have works cited citations and also in-text parenthetical citations. It's very important if you have one and not the other, it's still considered plagiarism. You must have both. Okay, again, the Owl at Purdue is a great source for help with that. So you're going to choose one of the topics that I gave you, just one. So you can choose one of the works. I gave you questions from a variety of the works that we've, we have looked at and read. And I've asked a bunch of questions. You're only choosing one of those questions. Okay, don't answer all the questions under one particular work. You're just choosing one question, okay, one topic. And you're writing your essay based on that. You also must quote from the text or work that you are writing about to support your points at least twice. If you're writing about Beowulf, you're going to have to quote from Beowulf at least twice, and so on. You must also find at least one scholarly, academic, peer-reviewed article about this topic from one of the Hackle College Library's databases and quote from it somewhere in the paper to support your points. An academic peer-reviewed article is a particular kind of source. The hack databases, generally depending on, the, depending on the database, but most of them will tell you if a source that you have found is an academic or scholarly work. 
Um, it's usually there's usually a special icon for that on the side of the um, source when you pull it up. You can also search directly for that kind of source in most of the databases. And the librarians are a great help with that if you need help. Okay, but it's very important that you do this. The databases are the best source of information for you for anything. Right? Don't go on the internet, use the databases. Keep in mind, if you don't do all of these things, if you don't follow instructions, you can fail for not meeting the parameters of the assignment, no matter how good your paper is. I left a handout on what the general grading standards for this are in your uh, folder under the content section. It's marked important. Okay, and in that important folder is the general grading standards. And you'll see in that, those standards at the bottom, it says for an F, you can get an F if you don't meet the parameters of the assignment, no matter how brilliant the essay is. So you have to pay attention to these directions. Okay, again, you must use at least one scholarly academic peer-reviewed article about this topic to support your points. You may use as many sources over that as you wish. Right? I'm sure more sources are probably a good idea. But that's the minimum that you have to have. You're using the new 2016 8th edition um, citation style, MLA citation style, too, to cite all of your sources. The works cited citation. Um, the works cited list is a separate document. It goes at the end of your paper. It's the last page. It's not a separate, it's not a completely separate document. All right, you're not doing a separate Word file, but you are putting it underneath the, pa the paper itself. It's a separate page. So it would be page four or five. Okay. All right. Any other questions? I've given you a whole list of topics from the Epic of Gilgamesh to Antigone to Beowulf, etc., and a bunch of others. So make sure that you pick, I mean, they're numbered, two, three, pick one of those. If you're going to choose Gilgamesh, great. Choose number two or number three or whatever else it is. Just one of those. Okay? If you have any questions or problems, please see smartthinking.com. It's a um, an online tutoring program that hack provides I and mean, we pay for it or a uh, tutor at one of the learning commons on one of the different campuses or make sure you contact me that's what I'm here for I can do a zoom conference with you a chat room conference a phone conference or you can come to my office in Lancaster during my office hours I am here to help you our college is here to help you okay you got this you can do it I Bet you can all do this great if you choose and you work hard. Looking forward to reading them and to have some fun too while you're reading them and doing this um, and writing it. There is some fun in doing a literary analysis. I mean, of course, that's why I'm an English teacher. I think that, you know, but still, it can be fun. Good luck and um, take care.